What's up guys? The Asian American business owner is back. All jokes aside, I had a nice list of things to go over in this vlog written down and I didn't email it to myself, so uh, we're going on my mind, which hasn't been too reliable lately. Beef jerky is finally back. 100% grass fed, grass finished, plain, only salt added beef jerky available on frankiestrangefoods.com. If you go to like Whole Foods or any grocery store, they'll have grass fed beef jerky. It's like $8 for two ounces. Ours is about $10 for four ounces. So almost half the price and it's plain, no soy sauce, no preservatives, no crappy non-organic ingredients. Plain beef jerky, simple, frankiestrangefoods.com. Ice cream, they messed it up again. It was better. The ice cream was better this time, but a, a little bit better. The vanilla, as I just said, vanilla was a little bit better. The strawberry was pretty good. It was passable in my book. It was as ice cream. The chocolate was too bitter. I don't know what they did with it, but uh, I refunded everyone for the chocolate that I think I remembered. But if you get the chocolate and you don't like it, just email me, I'll give you a refund. We still have the vanilla and strawberry listed but I think I'm going to give away the vanilla ice cream next week and then I'm gonna to go to the farm and show them how to make ice cream because I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> We're almost at three strikes. First time we sold the ice cream, we had to refund most of it, the ice cream was not good. This time, second time, they insisted it was good. I'm like 100% sure they didn't follow my recipe. I, think, I don't know what they're doing over there, but I'm gonna find out. So we're gonna give the ice cream away and see if I'm guessing they're okay with doing it again, but I'm gonna have to go over there and show them how to make it. Uh, and, and then if they say no, they don't want to, that, in, that answers my question of, okay, maybe they were just trying to save money and use more milk and less cream. I don't, I don't know. But that means you guys should support me as much as possible on Frankie's Range Meats. So, hey, maybe eventually I have my own dairy farm and be able to... <laughs> the, the problem I have, guys, is if I'm, if I'm the most reliable and consistent person involved in all of my business transactions, I am, I don't know how we're still going, but, but whatever, whatever. That's, that's, saying, that's, that's definitely saying something when I'm the sharpest tool in the, in the shed. Sharpest tool in the box, however you want to put it. This, this whole week has been uh, a complete nightmare. Uh, the weather wasn't that great here in PA, but it was apparently bad enough that FedEx didn't show up Monday or Tuesday, which is, is really problematic because that's how we ship our, our orders and they're supposed to all go out Monday and Tuesday. So I'm here at 4 p.m. and I'm like, where's the pickup? So I tell my guys to go home because they work till four and I'm calling around FedEx and they don't know why and my, my rep doesn't know why they didn't come. And I end up getting a hold of some express trailer driver that ends up coming. So I, I wait here till 6 p.m. on Monday to ship all the boxes up, but we got them out. My blurry, it's too dark in here. So that was a bit of a nightmare, you know, worrying the FedEx is gonna come. We have all these boxes waiting, but they show up, so everything's okay. I make sure to speak to the rep, make sure they have a pickup scheduled for Tuesday, and I even go online and I schedule another pickup for Tuesday just so they know to come. 4 p.m. rolls around on Tuesday, they don't show up again. So I got the guy's number from Monday. I call up the same trailer driver from Monday. He comes over, makes it over there. Weather well, wasn't great, but again, it wasn't like horrible. So same nightmare happened on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, they actually, FedEx actually showed up for the first time normal on schedule. And they claim that they didn't come Monday or Tuesday because of weather, but they never told me. So I'm waiting here with these boxes, waiting for FedEx pickup, like losing my mind. And then, so that, that was were like a few sleepless days. <laughs> and then, uh, then the power went out of my house, which is unrelated to the business, but that wasn't fun. So like I was working all day at the business and then I go home and I couldn't sleep because the power is out. I need like my fan and stuff and my house is like electric heat. So I got a generator hooked up now, so we should be fine, but uh, enough, enough babbling. Let me show you guys uh, what's new this week. So look at the foods real quick and then I'll show you guys the stuff in the freezer. Uh, just a few granola bars left in stock, but we did make some more today. So we will have the granola bars back available. All the best bars are in stock. We have very best bars here. These are the chocolate, all the chocolate best bars. Those are vanilla bars. And here we have some of the, the quinoa crisp. So we're getting there. Uh, today we made, as I said, some more granola bars. We restocked the Totomi's cookies. Those should be available in a day or two on the website. And then uh, we also made some pemmican with the fixed recipe so it's not as hard. So frankiesarrangefoods.com. Almost all the bars are gonna be back in stock available this week. Pretty much everything. We got the best bars finally back. 
granola bar is very delicious. I, when I was stuck here, um, when I was stuck here Monday and Tuesday, I was eating those granola bars. I, I crushed like four of them, dude. They're, they're so good. They're so delicious. Uh, but then like when I went home, I wasn't hungry for a meal. So <laughs> kind of filled myself up with biltong and granola bars. Uh, quinoa crisp, always delicious. Granola bar is just a little more grain based, you know, and, and more classic chocolate chip granola bar. Whereas the quinoa crisp is more like fruit and nut. And if you're not a fan of oats and grains, then you go with the quinoa crisp. Pemmican, we're gonna have the new formula available, just blueberry honey. And then we should be able to make the plain pemmican as well. All the, all the pickles, I think I showed you guys last vlog, the jardiniera, the sauerkraut, the garlic dill pickles, we're gonna have back. Let's see what's going on in the fridge. This is all the dairy that's gonna ship out on Monday. I think we're a little bit short, but hopefully not too short. Plenty of water key for grains in stock. These are only like $5.50 a jar, $5 a jar on the foods website. Crazy low price compared to everywhere else online. We restock the plain water kefir. I think we have all the flavors available besides apple. You know, we got regular plain, that's ginger lime, that's orange, that's grape, and that's pineapple. So only missing the apple. I think we're almost out of raw cookie dough. Uh, we're gonna have to make more this week. And then all the cheeses are not in stock. <laughs> we're missing a few. Uh, I think Gouda, Raclette, some other ones. But we should be restocking some more cheeses this week and then hopefully uh, meat-wise and everything else, we, sh we should be back to kind of 100% after uh, the breaks we get on the holidays. So now we'll check out the freezer. These are just some restocks. We got some tenderloin steaks. Kind of hard to get these nice sometimes, but these look really good. We got one pound lamb stew meat back in stock for you lamb lovers. Sirloin steaks, one pound. There's a price reduction on these. I think they were like 15 or $16 a pound. Now they're down to $12 a pound. Over there is just some organ grind. Uh, that's some chuck stew meat. What I'm kind of excited about is we got the Vichy Swab back in stock. If you guys buy this, please let me know how you like it. Uh, I put a lot of effort into this and uh, it's really, really special product to me. So definitely leave a review, send me an email. Most of the corn and soy free chicken is in stock, but you know we're starting to run a little low and our farmer won't have any until spring. So. We should be good for another two or three months though, I think. We did run out of beef tendons, but you guys can just buy our collagen broth instead of making it yourself with the beef tendons. This is the 95.5 lean blend. Basically like no fat in this ground beef. Very little fat. And that's not really even fat, that's more like connective tissue. Even more restocks over here. This is a new affordable 93.7 ground beef. So, you know, just kind of like a generic store brand, but uh, it's only $7.50 a pound. So if you apply like the 15% discount to this, you're basically paying like less than $6 a pound for grass-fed 93.7 ground beef. And that's the same price with the 85.15. So the 85.15, the 93.7, both super affordable, grass-fed, and then we have 8020 available, but the 8020 is packaged in bulk, five pound. This this five pound chub of beef is only like thirty dollars or something on the website, I think. Uh, we got flank steaks back, one pound flank steak portions. Picanha steaks are back in stock, one pound picanha steaks. These are always these, these are really special, you know. That they're so affordable and the meat is so tender and they have a nice fat cap so for what you're getting there really isn't a better cut of meat than picanha more of the best burger blend here honestly kind of uh criminal that we only charge eleven dollars a pound for ground up steak but yeah and that's like a pretty objective assessment of picanha just from like a factual how tender it is how much fat is on it compared to how affordable it is, it's, it's it's pretty interesting to me. Thankfully, it's not like too crazy popular here in the United States, because I, I bet it's more expensive in the countries where it's more popular. Yeah, so here's the ice cream. Uh, that's the chalk that I'm gonna send back to the farm. This is the vanilla. We'll probably give most of it away next week, free with your order. And this is the strawberry. And the reason I think this one turned out the best is because 
the organic strawberry that I sent them was like super high quality stuff. It was so expensive. When you taste this, you'll be like, wow, that's strawberry. It's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I think we can get all of these even better, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, we did a price reduction on the oxtail, so you guys are kind of going through that. Not much to show you guys over here. Uh, these are the pipe cut canoe bones. Not canoe bones, uh, the pipe cut marrow bones. Those are the canoe cut marrow bones. And we just have a small amount of marrow butter left. Uh, plenty of beef heart. Uh, a lot of chicken I had to organize. This is all of the, actually the, the stewing the stewing chicken that we can't really sell because it's too tough from the farmer. We got a whole pallet of this cheap soup chicken. These are all the orders I did today, or not today, but over this week in the freezer. All by myself. <laughs> What's that song? It's a song, right? All by myself. Yeah, there's a few things we're trying to restock. Uh, I was hoping the farmer was gonna be able to get us some fresh beef, some more pet food, and uh, what did I just show you? And some more beef liverwurst and stuff like that. Hopefully within a week or two, hopefully. That's the main thing I'm waiting for right now. I showed you guys last week, there was a major price reduction on the New York strip steaks, but also slight price reduction on the ribeye. Slight price reduction. I think the package was like 144, now it's like 135. And let's be honest guys, is anyone else enough of a gentleman to be lowering prices in times like this? Eh. I don't know, I just give all my money away anyway. Why do I even care? I bought my guys a, a new coffee machine. Because I was like, I was, I came in one morning and they like, they clocked in and I see him struggling with the coffee machine. I'm like, dude, like, I could spend a thousand bucks on a coffee machine and it'll probably save me more money and labor. Uh, this thing has pretty good reviews. Uh, I bought some organic coffee too, so uh, maybe I'll have to have some myself. If we're grinding up fresh organic coffee beans with glass bottle mineral water in this machine and uh, some raw cream, we'll see. I don't really need coffee because I, I take like the, the male virility of the beef testicle supplements usually and my testosterone is adequate. And uh, I wear like EMF blocking clothing, so like my energy levels, even if I'm dead tired, like, I will usually not need coffee. Probably a few things I forgot because I didn't send myself my list. I didn't show you guys the jerky. So we got a decent amount of jerky. Very tasty stuff, very tasty stuff. Um, four ounces is about $10, which is very affordable. I mean, most people couldn't eat this in, in one sitting, the four ounces. And then we have, I think the eight ounces is a little more affordable. Uh, I think the eight ounces is like 18 or $19, I don't remember. But if you buy eight ounces instead of four ounces, it's uh, more affordable. Yeah, the eight ounce ones are down here. Eight ounce plain jerky. Actually close in flavor to the uh, biltong, which I would say I probably still like the biltong a little more, but this is this is so expensive compared to the jerky. It's so much more expensive. Oh, I didn't show you guys in the freezer, but we also restocked the beef barley soup. I think we were only sold out for a week, so most of you guys probably didn't notice. Uh, so I don't know, even if we didn't have any legitimately new product, well, Technically, we didn't have strawberry ice cream before, right? So that counts as a new product, right? And then there, there's a few uh, few more ideas I'm excited about, but uh, if I keep coming up with uh, new products, I'm gonna be sleeping here. I'm gonna have to hire an army. Uh, there's a few, a few things on the Naturals website. We're gonna bring back the deodorant and maybe a new type of moisturizing cream. Uh, on the meat website, there's gonna be a new fat a uh, new fat product we're gonna have. And then hopefully, uh, we got some new stuff coming towards the end of the month too. So uh, yeah, over the, over the next hopefully four or five, six weeks, we'll get everything. And then, you know, there have been times where, there's a lot of been, been a lot of times in my business where stuff like this happens. We're like, like last year we launched Giga Chad Gum. We had the, more recently, we had uh, like the beef tallow moisturizer, moisturizer and the, remineralizing tooth powder, like those were launched. Those are some new products. We did lemon light. You know, we got a lot of new stuff coming in and out. We've always had the Flexrose in stock. Finally restocked the whey protein for you guys. Most affordable price online for 100% grass-fed whey protein. And I think we're gonna, uh, ch we're gonna change the container size. Right now it's like, I think it's like about one pound of whey protein for like 15, $20, but we're gonna uh, increase the container size next time. Lemon Light we launched uh, last year. Natural collagen too, I don't really talk about this that much. I don't know, we, we might get in the regular like hydrolyzed collagen, which I think, I don't know how they bleach it and stuff, but uh, it's probably not too bad and it's actually palatable from a taste perspective. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I'll, 
I gotta test that natural collagen more to see how well it mixes up. But I'll stop rambling because I can't remember anything significantly important to tell you guys. Uh, if you go to frank you will see all of my interesting, unique, and creative health businesses. From Frankie Strange Meat to Frankie Strange Foods, uh, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Uh, speaking of the foods, the potato chips, I, I, I tested them, I tasted them, they're still good. Uh, I think they're good for probably two or three more weeks. So we did a price reduction on the potato chips. They're like four twenty-five a bag or something, uh, instead of five fifty a bag. I mean, that's basically what it cost me to make them. So I'm I'm just breaking even on the chips. But you know, sometimes with business stuff, when you're like, especially with me, when I'm censored and shadow banned, and like, guys, that lemon light product, a lot of the products I sell, Flexdrose so so special and unique and creative and no one else is doing them and they're so good for your health like just the ratios the ingredients and all that stuff like and then you just have the people with connections in the club whatever that are selling millions of dollars worth of their dog crap supplements so for me like it's it's a little uh it's a little discouraging but what's really discouraging and that's when i <laughs> that's when i start filing lawsuits is uh is when people start copying those ideas that I like because because and I don't really want to get too much into this but especially with the best bar that kid that copied it like he copied the exact idea exact flavors and was selling the bar for double the price that I was it, it goes to show how censored and shadow banned I am so it's, it's kind of disgusting and despicable but it's whatever what you know what can I do I mean I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna be a lunatic I'm gonna be literally running out new, running around New York City hand, handing out flyers myself but we'll see we'll see frankdashafon.com thank you guys for joining uh, we'll see you guys soon Thank you.